Hey guys, Miss Bass here, and I wanted to talk to you guys about one of my favorite things that I do during Heart Health Month, which is jump stations. Now, I don't know if y'all guys know this about me, but Heart Health Month means so much more to me because I'm actually a heart patient myself. That's right, I had heart surgery when I was 23, and I promise you it has changed my life for the better. And so I really, really talk to my students a lot about heart health. And the good thing about this month, these activities, is they not only get to talk about it, but they get to truly feel it. So at the beginning of class, put our hands on our hearts, we try to feel them, we teach them the carotid, we teach them the radial. It's a pretty neat experiment as well. But talk about your heart, size of your fist, how it pumps, blood to the rest of your body. And then you let them fill their hearts before you start the activities. And then we're gonna fill our hearts at the end. And what a way for them to be like, wow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys through some of my favorite jump stations. And my sweet friend, Whitney, is gonna be my helper today. So she's gonna do it for me and I'm gonna explain it. So jump stations, I have about seven or eight. It depends on the grade level. We put a two minute timer on the clock. And the fun thing is, is you put it on there, you put it on loop, the students rotate on their own. They're independent. You're able to walk around and help. It is an amazing thing. I love stations. They make my heart happy. But what we're concentrating on for this lesson is jumping, hopping, and balance. And how do we put all those things together in various ways using various equipment for them to practice those things while being heart healthy. So let's start out with the ladder. So on the ladder, the goal is to do something different every time you go down the ladder. So you can do jumping, you can do hopping. If one foot gets tired, go to the other foot. You can even hopscotch. Now, when you get done, go all the way back to the beginning because somebody else is going to be going down it. You can do things like jumping out and in. You can go side to side, kind of quick feet, one, two, one, two. You can turn completely sideways and go kind of a dipsy doodle karaoke type thing. But my challenge for my students is every time they go down the ladder, I want them to do something different. And let me tell you, these kids get super creative. I love it. So we're going to rotate to our next station. We just got done with the hula hoop unit. So it's a kind of a calmer one, but they're working on balancing a little bit of rhythm. They can even jump rope with their hula hoops if they want, but so show them the jump rope. You can do kind of a skipping jump rope. You can do a jump, jump, jump rope. See, they can do that. They can also hula hoop around their arm. They can hula hoop around their neck. They can hula hoop around their bellies. Ooh, show them the skip it. Show them the one around your leg. I love this one. Oh yeah. They can even do the twister timer. You can twist it and exercise while you're waiting on it. You can wait till it kind of falls down and my kids love to do this. They love to try and jump in it without knocking it down. Oh. That was pretty good, that was still pretty good. So all those different things, they can even walk the dog. Oh. <laughs> no perfect, but that's okay. Try it one more time. Put that back spin and it rolls, or it should roll right back to you. But the good thing is, it helps that we just finished our hula hoop unit. So they already remember those. So we're like, guys, you remember your hula hoop skills? Yes. We just always tell our students, keep your hula hoops kind of in this space so that, you know, everybody else is in their own personal space as well. We're going to rotate to our next sta station. Oh, the balance beam. I love this thing. So on the balance beam, you can tightrope walk one foot in front of the other. Look how she's using her arms for those balance. She can turn, she can walk backwards. You can do some jumps. You can do some jump turns. So many fun things. When you get off, remember it's one at a time on the balance beam, walking back so that you give your friends some space. Now, if you really want some fun, then we can try a cartwheel on the balance beam. And that was amazing, good job. But again, just trying to show the students that is, there's more than one thing that they can work on on these stations. Next, we have our hippity hops. 
Man, I love these things. <laughs> so make sure when you do have your hippity hops, we're gonna start on the black line. So you're gonna sit down, two hands on the handle, make sure your knees are together. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bounce, bounce, bounce all the way down, give them a defined line to stop at. So we're gonna start at the black line, turn around and bounce, 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 bounce back. Now, not technically jumping, not technically hopping, but it is a little bit of bounce, a little bit of jumping, a little bit of bouncing, and just plum fun. <laughs> we don't get to do these very often, but it's the perfect time to throw in like those fun pieces of equipment that you don't get to use very often, but that the kids love so much, which means they're gonna work very hard to get to use those pieces of equipment. Let's move along. Oh my, the hopscotch mat and a trampoline. So make sure that your students know how to hopscotch when they switch from hopping to jumping, hopping to jumping, and even stand them up and have them practice with you, okay? If you notice, she is rotating back and forth, switching which leg she is hopping on so that it's not always on your dominant foot. I love it. So let's go down the hopscotch mat when you see one square, one foot, two squares, two feet. And I love how she's taking her time to do it right, and not just rushing like sometimes we like to do. And just for fun, we're gonna walk around over there. We're gonna go to the trampoline and we get to jump five times. And step back off. It just gives them something, everybody's kind of busy, everybody's moving, everybody's rolling, and keep on going. Next, a super fun piece of equipment are these balance boards. I think they're called spooners. Oh my word, these things are fun. So you can step on with one foot and step on the other. You can completely balance. You can rock side to side. Ooh, show me a twisty turny. Nice, <laughs> those are so fun. You can walk like a duck, side to side. You can do some jumps, so like you can just jump up and down. You can jump and you turn. <laughs> Try to turn back. <laughs> you can jump and see if you can swoop the board. Oh yeah, oh, these things are so fun. And of course the kids are like, I skateboard, watch me. I love it, so fun. Okay, our next station is the long rope. Now we do do this one all K through four. And I really try to, a lot of times I have interns, I'm very fortunate. <laughs> but what you do is you try to keep one adult there at all times to help them with throwing. So the goal is, you know, probably two or three students per station. That's why I have so many to keep the numbers down. Again, it depends on your class sizes. But the fun thing is, is I have X's um, for tape for my students to know where to stand. And then I have um, the lines for my throwers to stand on. So we're gonna show you, I know we don't have a jump, but we're gonna still show you how we teach jump. And I'll do another video kind of more on long ropes. But let's show them real quick. So, standing on the line, standing on the line, and oddly enough, it's like the perfect distance for the rope. We're going to go out, in, and over. And anytime somebody accidentally messes up, it's okay. You have the adult there to help them with learning how to throw, and then they always get to practice jumping. So then you'll just switch, and the thrower and the jumper, and so everybody gets a chance to throw, and everybody gets a chance to jump. Now, for K and one, they would just rotate to the ladder and that would be kind of their circle, right? Well, for two, three, and four, we added one more station and it's the jump sticks. I love these things. It's literally a stick with a rope and a ball. <laughs> and it's kind of like you skip it, but almost like better, but you make big circles, draw big circles and jump. You can jump with one person, you can jump with two. Um, again, that rhythm, that jumping, the balance, I love it all. So, those are just some of my jump stations. Not all of them, I have other ideas, but these are kind of the ones um, that are my favorite. If you notice, some are, everybody takes turns, one at a time. Some of them are, everybody gets to go at the same time. We clean equipment between every class. They germex on the way in doing the best we can to keep everybody safe while keep them moving and learning. When they're done, two minutes at each station. Go on YouTube, find a cool timer, let them hear it. Even if they can't see it, let them hear it. I found, let me see if I can show you that one again. This one is amazing because it goes like doo doo do doom, silence, but not for too long. And then if you click loop, it'll go right back and do it again. 
absolutely love it. So the kids hear it and see it and rotate on their own. Guys, that independence while they're moving and learning and independent means that they're more likely to move at home. And isn't that our goal? I hope you guys enjoy. Have fun and keep moving.